What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction with your boy Isaac, man. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see the title, man. Today we got my boy Big Act, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been reacting to academics a decent amount recently. Um, but he be on top of the news, man. And I be wanting to bring that to y'all, too, man. So, uh, yeah, we got Did Drake Dis Riri? DJ Academic speaks on Drake's lyrics seemingly aimed at Rihanna on new album. Um, yeah man drake recently dropped a new album if y'all not aware i don't know how you wouldn't be aware you know what i'm saying drake is kind of like the biggest artist in the world right now um i don't know how you wouldn't be aware but uh yeah man it's called for all the dogs shout out to that i didn't finish listening to it for real um i only got like halfway through the album but apparently people are saying like drake was dissing a whole lot of people like i heard he dissed rihanna i heard he dissed x like you know what i'm saying like he was just taking shots at people on the album um and from what i heard i don't know which songs they're referring to so i'm kind of interested to see what they're talking about but uh yeah man i just heard he was dissing a whole lot of people man so i'm interested to see what they talk about like i said but uh as always man if you're new to the channel scroll down hit the like button for me man sub up man we just hit 50 subscribers so this channel is growing 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 man and uh you know what i'm saying you can help us do that quicker man if you just scroll down hit that subscribe button man helps me out more than you can imagine and it's 100 percent free but that being said also don't forget to head over to my main channel and sub up over there it's just isaac i-s-a-a-c you feel me um pranks and everything going on over there you feel me you gonna love it over there i'm not gonna lie to you so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's about it y'all we just gonna get straight into the video let's do it he did talk about rihanna or i think we believe it's rihanna so uh if you guys didn't listen to drake fear of heights okay so that must be the name of the song so on uh on i gotta fear really heights, finish listening drake to the album yeah he says, hey, look, why they make it sound like I'm still hung up on you? That could never be. Y'all can't run me. Better him than me. Better it's not me. I'm anti. I'm anti. Yes, and the sex was average with you. I'm anti because I had it with you. Okay. All right, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, <laughs> Before we get into, you know, the rest of the, the lyrics and all that, I do want to go ahead and say this is definitely about Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know he said this is 100% about Rihanna. You got to think about it, y'all, because I know, like, you know what I'm saying, Drake stands or rappers fans in general, they try and just act like, oh, my fave person, my fave rapper, they don't, they don't be throwing shots. They don't do that. People be fucking with them. But, bro. Drake fans, we gotta be honest. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big Drake supporter. You gotta be honest. There's no way you're trying to tell me that these lyrics are not about Rihanna. Like, legit, legit break it down. Why they make it sound like I'm still hung up on you? That could never be. Everybody know Drake and Rihanna had their little thing back in the day. Y'all can't run me. Better him than me. ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Better him than me. Better Drake it's rapped. not me. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. What do you say after that? that I'm antsy. I'm antsy. Drake rapped. I'm antsy. I'm antsy. Yeah. Antsy. Ain't that the name of her project? I know she had a whole little thing with, like, the word antsy and shit. Like, didn't she have a project named Antsy? Or it was something involving Antsy. But, uh, come on, bro. It just doesn't make sense for it to not be about Rihanna. Let's be honest here. Yeah, and the sex was average with you. She got a song called Sex With Me is So Amazing. Like, y'all know, man. Like, come on, man. We got to stop being oblivious here. Yeah, I'm anti because I had it with you. That ain't P. He exposing the business. You know what I'm saying? He exposing the business. But, uh, it's Drake, man. Drake do what the hell he want, bro. Okay, I'm auntie like your daddy's sister. Auntie like a family picture. Oh, this is where we stopped at. Okay, okay, okay. I had way better business, man. Okay. He says, hey, look, why they make it sound like I'm still hung up on you? That could never be. Y'all can't run me. Better him than me. Better it's not me. I'm anti. I'm anti. Yes, 
and the sex was average with you. I'm anti because I had it with you. Okay, auntie, like your daddy's sister. Auntie, like a family picture. And I had way better bitches than you. TBH. Yeah, that man, he's still with you. He can't leave you. Y'all go on vacation. I bet it's Antigua. <laughs> By the way, if, yo, I don't know what's That's the backstory crazy, with uh, Drake verse. and Rihanna. But clearly, Drake, you know, you know, Drake is always clever with these disses. Drake overtly let y'all yeah, know this direct. On this he was song, not clever with this. Rihanna. That's very okay? clear. He might as well just said Fenty Beauty in this bitch. You know, obviously, Rihanna's last album is called Anti or Anti, right? Uh, I'll, look, I'll show you the album cover. Anti um, Rihanna. I knew I wasn't tripping. Yes, this is her last like, album. And yes, Drake is on the song with work. This song, this album was actually dropped in 2016. She hasn't dropped an album since then. It was seven years um, since her last album. So, if you're wondering how do we know this is um, by Rihanna, he says, "Hey, hey, look, why they make it sound like I'm still hung up on you? That could never be. Gal can't run me. The gal is is strategically placed. If you don't know, uh, on Instagram." It, uh, Rihanna's Instagram is Bad Gal Riri. Damn, right? I didn't even like put that bad together. Gal Riri. See, I didn't even catch that, that one. That is her Instagram. So you can see where the gal comes in, right? Even though right here they have it with a Y. But gal with a Y and gal without a Y, same thing. Gal can't run me. I, again, everything is intentional with Drake. Better him than me. I got to think he's talking about ASAP Rocky. And I also got to think that he's talking about ASAP Rocky having a kid with, with, with um, with Rihanna, I'm gonna be honest with you. Remember when all the memes was going around about what Drake probably must be feeling when um, it was announced that she was pregnant with uh, uh, ASAP Rocky's kid. Yeah, a lot of people were like, was "Yo, Drake is hurt, he's sick." Like you know, like yo, he's yo, he must be losing it that Rocky was the one to get her pregnant and not him. I think this is kind of answering those things, right? Why they made it sound like I'm hung up on you? That could never be. Y'all can't run me. And he's kind of making out uh, uh, um, to kind of like, you know, bring that type of saying from like the Caribbean into like, you know, um, just American colloquialism. Y'all can't run me means he's almost like alluding to uh, maybe Rihanna's a controlling person, right? And, and, and he ain't into that. Right, so that's why he then goes to better him than me, which seems to be at Rocky. But also, it could be about well, I'm glad he got you pregnant instead of me. He said, he said, better it's not me. I'm anti. I'm anti. Right, which by the way is a clever, uh, it's a clever play of words, but it's like a, a, a double and like almost it's definitely a triple entendre if you kind of break it down with these lines. That's gonna happen. Then he says, yeah, and the sex was average with you. Now, this is definitely at Rihanna because Rihanna has a song called Sex With Me. Rihanna, Sex With Me. I know y'all know this so song. Amazing. This is on the last album. See, I know what talking about. Look, Sex With Me, so amazing. All this hard work, no vacation. Stay up off my Instagram, pure temptation. Hit a switch on a fake nigga like a station. So, shit. He has this a song act. saying sex with her is amazing. <laughs> then he says, Yeah, and the sex none was of those average. Notes, man. Holy. Yeah, and I'm anti because I had it with you. Okay, Nigga auntie, hilarious. like your daddy's sister. Auntie, like the. Uh, 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 no, what, what, he doesn't say auntie, he says auntie. Like, you know, so in like Jamaican, how, how Jamaican people say aunt, they, they don't use the A, they just use aunt. So be like, Yo, auntie. You know what I mean? Auntie, right? So, so he's like, anti like a family picture. Um, and I had way better bitches than you, which by the way goes back to her Instagram name, right? Which is bad gal Riri, right? Bad gal, like she's saying, I'm a bad gal, you know what I mean? Which that has a double meaning too. Bad gal is like, you know, like, hey, oh, I uh, there ain't too many, huh? <laughs> Trying to change the way I'm talking, man. It ain't too many ladies better than Rihanna, man. I'm be real, man. I did be real. Like face car wise, nah. 
Motion wise, nah. She could sing too. Nah, she from the islands. Nah, I'ma be real. It ain't too many better than Rihanna, man. She liked a poster like bad woman. You feel me? Like she bad as hell. Right, you can't say that. Um, nah, but I'm sure it is. Like, bro, y'all gotta realize, like, yeah, she a celebrity, so she's the one we see a lot, but. At the same time, like it is a lot of uh bad women that just aren't famous at all that no one knows about that probably would be dying to get a nigga Drake a shot, you feel me? So it's like uh, bad as hell. I'm talking about bad at tens, nigga, you feel me? Like so it's like, yeah, in my opinion, it ain't too many women better than Rihanna when you in, when you add in like her motion and all this other shit that she got going for her as well. Coupled with her face card, you know what I'm saying? It's like ain't too many better than Rihanna. But if you're talking about straight looks only, I'm sure there are some girls that ain't famous that could probably compete face card wise. But you you a little hard pressed to say that they're overall just better like better better than Rihanna. That's tough, Drake. I don't know. Like a, you know, it's like you know I chat that song "Rude Girl." It's almost like a like a Maybe though, type man. Of chick, he's Drake. Also, you feel you know, me? She's a bad chick. You get what I mean? So uh, he's basically con he's addressing he's addressing her directly. He might as well said "fuck you, Riri." You know what I mean? He said I had way better bitches than you. To be honest. Right? Then, yo, yo, look at Rihanna's people who are like uh, editorializing the shit on Genius. You know what they said? They said this is not true. Check his baby mama. Hilarious, <laughs> hilarious. That's Honey, crazy. Yeah, with Drake. That's crazy. And they hey, said, yeah, a, that man, he's still with you. With I think a, somebody said, bro, he can't leave you. Y'all go on vacation. I bet it's Antigua. Now, I'm I don't know enough about those relationships to comment on it, but. We also have to rem remember, this is kind of what got Drake in trouble with Pusha T when he mentioned his wife, and Pusha flipped that and wilded out on Drake with it, basically saying, Went "Hey, up on you mentioned my wife because I got a happy relationship, I got a, a good family structure. You got some family issues because of your mom and your dad, and look what your your baby mom says." And then he he, he dropped the Adonis bomb, right? So you see Drake again using the same strategy, right? Basically, like talking about the family structure of Rihanna. Like, yeah, your man with you, like, and that nigga with you, he can't leave you. Well, it looked like, I'm gonna be honest with you, for all intents and purposes, it looked like ASAP Rocky and Rihanna are happy, like, right? Yeah. It looked like they're happy. Like, what whatever they got like, going it look on, like they, they look like they're happy. Leave each like, other, man. Obviously, they're not like tied in on some marriage, but they look like they're happy. They got, uh, ain't she pregnant again? So why be two kids? Whatever it is. Mm. Yeah. They're happy. And then he said, let me stop. You know what? Fuck it. Let me go. Okay? Wait, he said uh, some he more? Said, well, hey, I think, I think B switches. Girl, you want to make me cuff you like the law? I know you a cat, but you pussy do the dog. Let me go pound for pound. Okay. Anyway, you, you know All why right. this verse is also, like, interesting? Why are they into it, though? Like, why did he just randomly diss Rihanna? She, it had to be something the behind the scenes, The reason why that yo. verse is so interesting, and I'm going to pull this up. Because publicly, we never seen it's nothing to make it seem like happen. Drake just didn't Drake like her. Now Drake is only, like, he's yeah. switching up on Rihanna because of just what the public has said. Yeah, it can't just be because of the Or fans, maybe they bro. had a conversation, and maybe he don't fuck with Rihanna no more. But see, I remember this song. This is the first time he talked about, well, well. This song is almost like a love song to her. This was nine years ago. Nine years ago. By the way, I wish the song no Drake. Copyright. You should have no put the song on, on No view. copyright. This shit was amazing. This song is fucking amazing. This nigga you must remember waking up to Why wouldn't you just put a By the way, every lyrics, line is about Rihanna on this song. Like, you must remember fucking me like any time you want. What made us want to act like we were married for two weeks. Now we're You hear me? You what made us want to act like we were married for two weeks like come on in california we don't even speak that's, that's a no-no no. everyone say we look good on paper Ooh, no everyone copyright say we look good on paper that action plus you get more paper than i do that shit damn and nine years ago he rapped 
Plus, she get more paper than I do. So he's admitting nine years ago, Riri was caking out more yeah, than I don't know about right now. By the way, shit, he, maybe. Nah, I don't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Riri at Rihanna bit. With Jen and Melissa. Yeah, Tell the squad I said, what up, girl? Look at me. Jen and Melissa is like Rihanna's best friend. what I you hear a voice note on this? It's actually, uh, it's actually the voice of um Rihanna. Be shy. Like, like a little love song to Rihanna. Clearly love Rihanna. We see like him at the Emmys. Stop playing this whole was damn song. Or, the SPs or, or some on. shit. Uh, what was that? Drake Rihanna award show. Oh yeah. Oh Sam, you have to see this, mate. First sunrise in the. And yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like they were giving, they were giving vibes. I ain't gonna lie. You know, a lot of people were always speculating that you know maybe Drake was just in a whole whole phase, fucking all the bitches, and he was gonna come back to Rihanna. But um, yeah, they were a thing. They were a thing. You know. What I'm, I'm tripping. Y'all oh, hear that dog in the background, bro? Is that act dog? <laughs> I'm tripping. I'm trying to figure out does my dog or something. I got these headphones on. I mean. Obviously, we all love songs like Work and What's My Name and, you know, songs like Take Care and, you know, and shit. Yeah, that gotta he, be active. A lot of his speech was about, it, it was about Rihanna. Some artists need to play a character. To right? You gotta hear him. This woman has surpassed all competition while still being the same girl from Barbados, yep. surrounded by the same friends. Uh huh. She's so Speaking fine, with the same kids. accent. And, and never missing a crop over unless it's to come perform at OVO Fest, which we appreciate. Yeah, yeah. See, so yeah, he was rocking with her. Now, by the way, when was that? after he dropped that song, again, we don't know what happened, How but he, ago, he, he went bad on Rihanna. But Rihanna's choreographer posted this picture, and it's a picture from this 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 interaction. I think Drake goes in for the kiss, and, I you know, I, I think they just happened to fuck up. A lot of people took it as, you know, Drake got curved, but I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. Recipient of the Michael Jackson Vanguard Award for 2016. Here we go. Yeah. 16. So, that he shit goes in, seven he goes in. Ago. He goes in. Go for the kiss. Here we go. Look. See, he goes in, hands out. She's holding on to the trophy. And I, I think maybe he was going for the lips. She gave him the cheek. You know? Okay, you know, she's like, all right, nigga, don't fuck up the makeup now. Don't fuck up the makeup. Do not fuck up the Fenty. Does the Fenty have, like, lipstick? Don't fuck it up. And, um, you know, obviously, like, you know, <laughs> I, the internet's going to have fun. Hey, man, nah, 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 that's crazy. I ain't going to lie. I don't, nah, nah, that's a curve, back. That's a curve. And I, I think maybe he was going for the lips. So he, he goes in, he goes in. You going to go for the kiss? Here we go. Look, see, he goes in, hands out. She's holding on to the trophy. I ain't gonna lie, though. That's crazy to uh to think about, cause like you gotta think, Drake. Like, why would you try to kiss her at an award show and y'all not publicly together? Like, I don't know what y'all got going on behind the scenes, but nigga, you tried to kiss her on the lips at an award show. This is Rihanna, bro. You should have knew how that was. Come on, man. Ah, uh, light skin's down one point, man. <laughs> B, and I, I think maybe he was going for the lips. She gave him the Why cheek. You, you know? Okay, you know, she's like, all right, nigga, don't fuck up the makeup now. Don't fuck up the makeup. Do not fuck up the Fenty. Does the Fenty have, like, lipstick? Don't fuck it up. And, um, you know, obviously, like, you know, I, the internet going to have fun with that. Clearly, Drake was fucking the shit out of her at one point. So, you know what I mean? Okay, cool. You didn't. She didn't kiss you on stage, but... Shit, if I'm fucking her, I don't care, right? But Facts. they clearly was in it love. It looks one like point. an L right there. Cause it's like, why would you go for and that? And that's why you have the. You should have figured out is, what was going to happen. You can look at this girl. Her name is Paris Gobel. She posted this kind of just showing that Drake was getting curved, but apparently she's like Rihanna's. Uh, she's Rihanna's. What do you call it again? Choreographer. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, you can see. This is this is them practicing some shit. Okay, that's some Nicki Minaj shit they're they're listening to though. But you can see. Oh, Super Bowl oh look shit. like oh she's the one who probably did the choreography for Rihanna at the Super Bowl. 
Oh, that, that that's dope, right? All right, man. This is these are the back backup dances. This nigga act with too these much money on this bum buck club. Yeah. They need like, some females, come on, man. man. Come on, come on. Too many niggas in this bitch. What the hell? Actually, it's all niggas. Yeah, that's all dudes, bro. Anyway. So, yeah, that is like one of the fallouts. I'm going to investigate why the hell, why the hell, right? Why the hell has um Drake just kind of dissed her like that? That's kind of like yeah, odd and like question, just random. Bro. That is really I would love to random. know why. I would absolutely love to know why. Okay, let me see what else. Give me a second, chat. Okay. Rocky disc. Drake was rolling loud. Alright, y'all. That's gonna be the end of it for this video. Um, my final thoughts. Yeah, that's real random. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, that's extremely random. I don't know where, like, him this and Rihanna came from, especially because, like, throughout the years, they've had, like, a great relationship. But, uh, Rihanna hasn't really publicly been in a relationship for a while until ASAP Rocky Ashy. So maybe it came from there. Maybe it's some hard feelings for Drake, um, on his end. With ASAP Rocky and Rihanna, you know, because the fans they boost it up, and as much as these artists like to play, like the fans don't play a difference in how they feeling, man. I feel like they be seeing the comments and what everybody's saying, and a lot of people was on Drake head saying, "Oh, <laughs> he took a L. I know he feel a type of way because Rocky with Rihanna, and then he Rocky done got her pregnant, all type of shit." So. Drake probably felt like he had to respond eventually, you feel me? But, uh, this and Rihanna, that's kind of crazy, bro. That's random as hell, honestly. Um, but, hey, man, it's like a lot of people that Drake is, like, falling out with that you just, you wouldn't know because of the way he moved. Like, people is rumoring that Drake fell out with Nicki, like, because he didn't even put her on the album or whatever. Like, I don't even know how that, how, how things is going with that, but it's like, yeah, I don't know, man. Drake be <laughs> Drake be having a lot of things going on behind the scenes that you wouldn't know just because of the way he moving. Hey, I guess that's a good thing, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Keep these folks out your business. But surprise, like I want to know what happened with him and Rihanna. I want to know what happened with him and Nicki. I honestly want to know what happened with him and X, cause I seen he had dissed X. Hold on, I think Act posted a video of that too. It's like a short ass video, so we got. This Go ahead was and do another that thing that was anyway. kind of confusing me, and actually, I, Why I, not? It's, this is sit right. It's a minute this, long. This song, which one is it? Is it Daylight Chat? I ain't gonna get all it's another daylight. reaction out of it, so I might as well do it in Where this he's one. Like, yo. Uh, he says, "What do you say?" Geeking hard. Don't know what it take. Don't know what I took. My dog, he got booked for acting like book. He shot him in broad day. She went to Jung and she bought a body. He shot him in. Shot him in daylight. Shot him in daylight. Hey, I wasn't there when they caught a body. TPS think that I bought the body. Internet swear that I bought the body. Take more than, take more than that to go pop somebody. Them niggas talk about everybody. So Loki, I'm happy they got somebody. Nigga, what? Oh my god. Niggas talk like that about everybody. So Loki, I'm happy they got somebody. Mm, damn. That could be about anybody though, y'all. That really could be about anybody, but I wasn't there when they called the body the inner the internet think he the one that paid for it. He said something like that. Damn, bro, that might really be about X, bro. Fuck. This nigga Drake is taking aim at everybody, bro. Somebody put me on game on why Drake and X was beefing, bro. Like I don't even remember that shit. Like I found out Drake and X was beefing like years down the line. I did not know that was going on when it when it was going on. Like 
I thought it was really just some hating niggas that just was trying to rob X, and then it just went like it went. But niggas swear Drake was involved in that. That's crazy. Let's let's try to break this down. He said, "I wasn't there when they caught the body." TPS. What's TPS? TPS thought that I bought the body. Internet swear that I bought the body. Taught more than, taught more than that to go, uh, or take more than that to go pop somebody. Them niggas talk about everybody. So low key, I'm happy they got somebody. Is he saying there? He's happy that somebody died. Like, I don't know. Anytime, like you know, it, it feels like a little insensitivity every time. Um, you know, um, like Drake kind of mentions or lose anything to do with X. Yo. Yo. Yo, you got me fucked up, nigga. My mama. You what? Somebody pressing this nigga. <laughs> nigga, cut the clip. Drop. But yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, bro, this nigga Drake, he, he dissing a whole lot of people, man. But niggas is saying he he not feeling Nikki either, or like they not on good terms right now, or whatever. And that's why she wasn't on the album, so. A lot of rumors going on. I don't know, y'all. Um, it's interesting, bro, but it's also very random, bro. Hey, the album is called For All The Dogs. You feel me? And I guess that's the energy he bringing to it, so. Hey, man, that's all I got to say about it. As always, if you're new to the channel, scroll down, hit the like button, man. You know what I'm saying? Sub up for me. Head over to my man channel, sub up. It's just Isaac. You feel me? I-S-A-A-C. I just dropped the prank. Um... And you know what I'm saying? If you enjoy stuff over here, you'll definitely enjoy that, man. So y'all go tune into that, man. And uh, be on the lookout for the next one because it's dropping in the next couple of days. So that's all I got to say, man. I'm going to see y'all boys in the next reaction. We out.